Um, I'm very attracted to uh, living life to its fullest, yeah, which is obviously somewhat different than you know the character here is slightly burnt out, to say the least. Uh, but but one of the values of this movie, obviously, is the friendship, and I think that's one thing that attracts a lot of people to this movie. Uh, the numerous things that attract people to this movie, but but the friendship. Um, Aspect. We had a lot of good friends. I mean, I started even kind of hit that where I started talking about Chip and Joe and people in the car and all that stuff. People who, gave, who became very, very good friends during times of, you know, lots of struggle and heavy things coming down and, you know, people facing jail time and death and, but rocking on at the same time and, you know, getting educated at the same time. So there's a tremendous bond of friendship that people have got, you know, that you'll have in certain situations. Uh, colleges, you know, army, political situations, all, you know, surfing situations, sports. Um, and, you know, I think one of the things is, is having good friends and valuing your friendships. Um, even though some of your friends may be assholes like Walter or be getting in trouble, and I think you can all reflect on, you know, I mean, who doesn't have a friend who's like totally screwed up <laughs> and getting themselves in trouble, probably you too some of the time too, but you stick by those friends because they're real friends. Um, you know, that's one thing. Um, that's also, uh, you know, I'm to the point where we're in the world right now where I'm once again very, you know, reinvigorated to be very involved and have been for a few years in what's going on in the world. Um, and frankly, we have no choice at this point. I mean, the world is in serious, serious, serious trouble. But it's the greatest kind of opportunity as well. And I'm doing a movie now called The Chacha, I'm about to call Back Home, which will be shown at the AFI Festival uh, tomorrow night, um, premiering it. But we showed it with 10 Nobel Peace Prize winners about a month ago. Dalai Lama, Desi Tutu, Betty and Jody Williams, and many people. And this was the only movie there. It's about a Rwandan refugee who goes back home to make a film, looking for his mother and his brother. But the amazing thing about this film the Hutus and Tutsis, who were basically divided by the Belgians, the outside force there, they used to get along. And the genocide happened in 94. The Hutus who committed genocide against the Tutsis, instead of being strung up or shot, uh, or put in jail for life, are now building houses for the people whose families they committed genocide. It's like, I killed your brother and sister, but I'm going to build you a house now. I mean, absolutely amazing, the Chacha. And so, I mean, literally, they're at the place building houses for the people who they act, the family members of people whose families they kill. Now, how heavy is that? Is it finding their humanity again and finding reconciliation? That's, I mean, an interesting little model, which, gee, wouldn't that be nice in the Middle East or somewhere else? Yeah? So I'm very involved in, in trying to find models and do some things with movies we're making now that are beacons of light that people can look at. It's not going to come from the politicians, uh, except very, very, very rarely, because they're too, the system is too, you know, you got to win, you got to raise money to win, you can't say this, you better not say that, or you won't win. It's too common, basically, most of the time. There's the odd politician that comes out. Um, and when you see this movie, Bobby, which for those of you who see it, You'll see it comes across as an angel, but the fact was he had to be pushed by a lot of stuff that was going on to get to that point. He wasn't against the war at first. He wasn't helping out in the civil rights stuff at first when he was attorney general. Uh, but he got better. Um, want to end this soon? Yeah, hey, um, let's go. I just have a few announcements to make for everyone. We, we do have to be building here, but um, for everyone. Or we can just take it over.